Welcome back, my fellow Duplicants, to Oxygen Not Included. Today, we are playing a little bit more of the Spaced Out DLC, and I've taken a moment here just to kind of pause the game where I was at here and start to plan a few things out here so that I can make some quality content. Otherwise, I'd just be kind of like throwing ideas at the screen and who knows what was going to happen. So, so I've got a couple of game plans for all the different planets here. The main one that we're working on today is I'm going to try to get a dupe from my main base here, Sludgax. Try to get them off of here using a rocket. We'll try out the Trailblazer thing and land them on our very new planet over here, which is being prepared by our little robot guy. Yes, check it out. So what I've got going on over here is, is many things. Uh, <laughs> I cranked up the tunes and got the planet, but ultimately what I'm trying to do over here on this, on this place is I'm going to try to drain all of the different liquids into a couple of different canisters down here. That will then free up all of the space to kind of go in there and, and build up different little rooms and whatnot. So I've got different areas, like the lavatory. We're going to have like a little park, some place for your food, a little recreation room and dining, a spot where you sleep. And they're all kind of right next to each other. So that's all kind of planned out. And maybe, just maybe it'll actually work. It's all gonna depend on if I have my priorities set correctly. And I think I might, possibly. We'll see. I don't know if one robot's going to be enough to do all the work. So I might want to bring another robot over here before before we get too far into it. You know what? Let's just do it. We're going to throw some crew in there. Camille, hop on in there. What do we have inside of here? Oh, we've got plenty of oxygen. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and do that. So one of the things I learned from teleporting Meep to the other planet over here is that I, I should really have a dupe that has had their skills scrubbed. So they have a lot that I can apply, but it's going to kind of depend on what they need to do in that new area. So I'm going to try to build this up. We'll scrub Meep's skills and then send them off to the new location. Now, what do we got going on inside here? How you doing? What's wrong? Food? Ah, you don't need food? You'll be fine, right? How are your calories? Oh yeah, you're good. So let's get another space Let's get another space rover going here. We'll just fly on out there. Boom. Go ahead and launch that up. There is actually like a kind of automation that you can do with something like this. All right, so there we go. One rocket away. Now what I kind of envision up here is, is to really just have like a big old spaceport. Many, many different <laughs> silos for our different rockets and whatnot. Uh, maybe not, not all of them have silos. It kind of depends on what kind of engines and how hot that stuff gets. But right now, silos would make sense, at least for the carbon dioxide. <laughs> because it isn't, you know, we can reuse it. Sorry, maybe you got a little bit crispy there. Don't worry, by the time you make it over here, I think a little heat might be the least of your worries. Because, mmm, this is kind of huge. What I also noticed inside of here, I just happened to look. Look at how much chlorine is in there. Had I cracked one of those suckers open, that's 245 kilograms per tile. That's a lot of chlorine. Let's go back to our second planet here, Vin. And I do have kind of a plan going on here. It, it, I'm sort of abandoning this idea. I don't really, I don't really like it. My ideas have evolved over the, the moments between videos here. Essentially, what I'm trying to do is kind of dig out the top part here. This is where we're going to kind of have our little base. One of the important things here is to have a nice hospital in case something goes terribly wrong. And to avoid things going terribly wrong, what I'm going to try to do is gain access to this stuff down here so that I can get rid of, so that I can export a lot of the lead down here. Because that's really, really useful for building up high power systems. However, the main problem that we have over here is those zombie spores. And if you kind of take a look at the zombie spores a little bit closer inside of this database here, what you'll find out is that zombie spores survive in things like solids such as coal, diamond, and all that stuff. Yeah, also carbon dioxide or natural gas. Had I dug down right here where it seemed relatively safe, I would have natural gas inside of my base. So it's a trap. What I want to do is actually go on over here get down into this stuff and get a nice little area built up full of chlorine gas. You know, that way it's relatively safe. I mean, it's still chlorine gas, but it's better than being a zombie, at least according to its subdupes. So I'll try to build that up right here. Kind of have a spot where we go down, jump inside of our suits. Everything is disinfected automatically because it's just pumped full of chlorine gas. If we have carbon dioxide, we're going to pump that out of there because we don't want it to be there. And it will have to go through tanks where it gets disinfected. All that stuff's going to happen right here. And if I do everything right, it may not go horribly wrong. 
Here's the other thing. I might be able to go in here and dig up some of the stuff using robotic diggers. You know, those little robotic digger arms? That might help a little bit, maybe. There was a comment saying, hey, why don't you give that a try? And you know what? That might actually work out. Maybe. All right, the Space Slug Alliance is now in orbit. We can go ahead and deploy our next little rover here. Boop, there you go. And here comes another robot to help build. Hello, look at how happy he is. I recently picked up a brand new robot. I'm currently training my little sweepy up so that it knows the route. I found a really good deal over the weekend. I wouldn't necessarily recommend the thing. It kind of kind of sucks, but it'll work for my purpose. All right, so inside of here, I've got a couple of robots. One that's working from the surface right up here, kind of taking care of that stuff. Real nice. And another one that's working right down here to dig this out. Now, again, like I said, if I got the priorities right, it should actually build everything you're seeing here in some sort of logical order. There was a comment a long, long time ago talking about the idea of can you plan out an entire base and then just click go and see if your dupes will actually be able to just build it. I've always thought that was kind of an interesting idea. And now that we actually have a game mechanic that's a bit like that, eh, we actually have a chance to try it out. So the, the other thing I've been doing here is just planning out uh, a little bit of automated storage bin -y stuff. So this is automated textile looms, exosuit forges, and whatnot, because one of my main exports from my primary base here is going to be well-equipped dupes that go to other planetoids. I mean, that's basically what I'm trying to do here. So I'm trying to equip them with the right suits, the right stuff, so that they can jump in a rocket and go. Now, I was originally building some of this stuff over here on the left. I've decided to not do that and actually push it over there onto the right. We've also got a lot of digging commands down here. Look at that. Even with all of these commands, we're still doing 54 frames per second. Mm. Mm. It's nice to be able to see what you're doing. Oh, May. Forgot that I told you to deconstruct that. Now, now you can't get to the rest of this stuff. I'm, I'm just sitting back and watching my dupes do all the work here. Huh? This is pretty nice. Mm. Nice. All right, so with all of these plans in motion, <laughs> please stop the alarms. Let's focus back on this one here because this is my least planned out biome. So what I want to do is have all the different rooms that you need to have. There's basically four primary rooms that you need to get in place early on. So when starting out a little base like this, there's four things that I want to get down right off the bat. Obviously the barracks and the latrine are probably the most important, followed by a mess hall, ideally a great hall if you can get it. And then I like to throw a recreation room. And in this case, hospital is gonna be real important as well. I mean, this is just a disaster waiting to happen. All I'm getting is notification one after another of ceiling collapses. Oops, be careful. <laughs> ah, geez, who's trapped? Turner. Oh no, ah, these dupes. Turner, wake up. Come on, Turner. Come on, Turner. There you go, bud. <sighs> What am I Meanwhile, the robots building this big complicated blueprint with no problems at all. I'm convinced this is why the robots are going to take over. They're just, they're just so much better. All right, where was I? Trying to plan out my little room here. So what I was doing in the other areas, I was actually building out tiles that are 11 by nine. So 99 tiles right there. That allows me to put a floor right in the middle there. If I kind of want to do something different between the top and bottom, kind of handy. That is a little bit different than making just like constant bricks that are four tiles high. I think it gives me a little bit more flexibility, but I'm already doing that over here. So let's try a little something different over here. So if I think about what I want to build over here, let's say I have three different zones that I can build four tall like this. I and mean, they're stacking them vertically. Maybe we have a lot more vertical space, but not as much horizontal space. And then inside of here, how much space do we have until we get to like around 96 tiles? Gene, you, you don't need to click. I'm just trying to plan things out. Priority level one. Okay, just priority level one. Go over there, do something else. Ah, oh, these dupes. All right, so if I do that number right there, how much volume does that give me? 32, 64, 96, total of 98 altogether. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. So that's an internal volume right there of eight by 14 or 112 tiles. But Bottom likes it so much, even though it's priority 
one. She's already going out and building it. So apparently it's a good idea. All right, so where do I want to build this? You know what? I think if I make the top of my map, if I make this the top of my base right here, just kind of go right there, then I think I'll be in good shape. So that was eight by 14 right there. And then you come in and you cover the bottom and the walls just like so. You go down four, you paint over like that. You go down four, you paint over that like that. Then you got three sections of four. Boom, just like so. Now, if you wanted to be able to get to this from the bottom or something like that, or go from the sides, you can throw in doors right there or doors right down here. Always good to give yourself a little bit more space than you need. So I'm gonna go down five below and just do that number right there. So then that will go up just like that, boom. And there I have it, some rooms. I like this, this is fun. And then I can take the same exact pattern, which is eight by 14, and just continue to repeat that, kind of allowing me to build up a very quick base that's fairly dynamic and I can kind of do whatever I want to do inside of there to get to the shape I need. Not so much the shapes, but get to the volumes that I need, I should say. All right, so I'm going to do another thing just to kind of prepare a base like this is I'm just gonna put two tiles like that, and then I'm just going to build a ladder straight up here. This way, I should be able to dig out this right here, drain the water down, and then what I can do is build something up just like that. That is a storage bin, and inside of here, I can store something like bleach stone so that it doesn't get out and cause all sorts of issues. Set that to a nice high priority, so the second we dig it up, we move it. As long as I make this a higher priority than everything else, then boom, we should be able to build that up drain that water out, and prepare for our base to be built. Yeah, I like it. Good stuff. How we doing over here with the little robots? Oh, look at them. They're doing great. This guy's got plenty of power left. We, we still got 67 kilojoules there, so I think we're doing all right. How are my main dupes doing on their, on their automation builds? Not bad. They haven't suffocated yet. Not for a lack of trying, though. All right. I'm just gonna point this out, Monk. I understand that I got a lot of things queued up over here, but this is what you really need to build and if you really wanna go over there. So just build that first. And we have a little oxygen, we can breathe. What I'm looking to do down here is some more hot stuff. Remember, I need water. I need lots and lots of water because I'm going to be doing a fair amount of farming. I've got enough meltables around here, there, and everywhere that I can collect that and I can use it for a little while. We're still able to kick out these bog buckets for now, but I'm going to need to use petroleum. I'm going to have to come down here and tap into this magma. So one of the main things here is that I'm, I'm going to run into liquid limits. I mean, there are a bunch of things that are melting and I'm trying to collect them the best I can and we'll try to get the brine and all that stuff out of there. But ultimately, I'm going to need more water. So I want to get down here close enough to this heat, not too close, because <laughs> you can see that even the abyss light here is very, very hot. And you know what happens if you drop some liquid on hot abyss light, it still gets very, very hot. You could end up with like sour gas down here very, very quickly. All right, here we go. The very first milestone for our little rovers. We're digging this out. We're going to bring all that water over here and it should flow right down there. Here's a good question. Can they mop? They can mop? What? I want to see a robot mop. Priority level nine. Show me how a robot mops. Eh? 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 They're ignoring me. I don't think they can mop. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Yeah, yeah, they can't do it. All right, I'm gonna crank up the speed here. Got a bunch of plans. Just need time to take care of them. Well, look at these dupes go. Oh, look at this. I got a couple of wild plug slug, no, 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 plug slugs. I've got a couple of wild plug slugs over here. Matter of fact, I've got three of them. Hmm, okay. So what I'm trying to do is bring them over here and then not have them get s separated. One of the things I always struggle with a little bit here is separating the wilds from tames. There's no way to go down here and separate them. So hopefully this will work out. There we go. That seems to be working. Ran into the first issue with my plan. I hit a chunk of granite. Close. Nearly found all the little problem. I think the other issue I might be running into here is I think I might have too much water. It'll be close. No, actually, if I add that to it, yeah. I need to build that bigger. Ah, oh, no, I got another dead rover here. Ran out of power. You know what that means? I think we need to send another rover. Okay, so if there's one thing I could do over here to really improve things a fair bit, that would be to put in a couple of these jet suit 
checkpoints and docks because I, I have those now. Ideally, I would put that right here, but I don't really, I didn't have enough space for it. I didn't plan for it. Hmm. So I'm just gonna go with plan B, all right? And here is plan B. We'll dig down right here, just open this up, and this will be a staging area for you to go and get out into space. This will be good. We can do a lot of stuff right in this area. All right, so with that in mind, one thing I'm definitely going to need to do is bring over some igneous, uh, not igneous, but that's what I'm building it out of. Bring over some petroleum so that I can fuel up my, my rockets. And I was kind of expecting this. One of the Another thing that I'm going to need to do is pipe a bunch of oxygen up into this area as well. I kind of figure a lot of stuff is going to get transferred right through this area. So you got a lot of things right here, a lot of things that are going to come back from space. I'm just thinking this is going to be the big old transportation hub. Boom, pipes and all that fun stuff. Built all the way through here. Bunches and bunches of pipes. Same thing with liquid pipes. All the spaghetti. Maybe even the power too. Like, I don't know. Why, why not? Oh, here's another thing I did. I built up a gas range over here. And there's a couple some there's some new foods in there. Mixed berry pie. Mmm. So some sleet wheat grain. Grub fruit. Gristle berry. Look at that. Superb. 4,200 calories. Delicious. It's the only new high-end recipe that I see. Alright, let's see how we're doing over here on Vin. This is coming together a little bit. Slowly. Anything that I was thinking about doing over here, so that's gonna have to wait just a little bit. We are indeed moving carbon dioxide through here and into the other zone by teleportation. You can see that I've got my carbon dioxide here. And that one's full as well. How are we doing on planet number three? Ooh, oh no, we got a dead robot here. Run it, ran out of juice. The other one's still going strong. Ooh, but only has 23 kilojoules left. The pips are encouraging him, but I don't think that's going to last very long. I think it's time to send out a new rover. Matter of fact, I think I might want to... Add a second one. Why not? All right, so here's the cool thing about having two rows right here. I could do Atmos suits and I could do jet suits. Haha, -ha, like I almost planned it that way. Not that I have ammo suits though. Oh, oh, you think of what I'm thinking? Technically, I could just do an oxygen mask and send them out that way if I really wanted to. I have three different ways to go from here and into space. Yeah, this bottom one isn't four tall. That's kind of bugging me. I was okay with it until I started looking at it. Yeah, nope. It's got to change. There we go. All right, so the idea is you come up here, go over there, jump in whatever suit you want. Plus, we could do the transportation systems and plop. There you go. So we've got two rovers now. Nice. Let's go ahead and throw our crew in there and make sure that we have enough oxygen. Wrong one. Breathability, zero percent. Well, what do we got inside here? We got, oh, you got plenty of oxygen. You're fine, Camille. Definitely don't want to send them out when you don't have enough oxygen for them to survive. It's a good way to end up with a dead dupe in space. If a dupe dies in space, does anybody mourn? Camille, for science? How you doing, space slug? Ooh, you are age 91 of 100. You've been around, haven't you, space slug? Do, 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 eight, seven, just a few seconds. There we go. Flight status, nice. Deploy. Watch this. This is how fancy we are now. Bringing in two at the same time. Robot swarm. <laughs> uh oh. Hassan, what do you mean you get? Oh. Had to catch them all. <laughs> ah, so many different places to look. Okay, there you go. Hey, there's a rocket. You know, it doesn't give off gas when it lands. Interesting. Man, I feel like I'm getting a lot done. <laughs> Building all of this. Building all of that. Fear my productivity. All right, there's one thing I'm going to need to take care of before it bites me in the butt here. And that is when we go to empty out this oil well, natural gas is going to come out of here and then we're going to try to pump it. And right now that would just kind of go around and around. I really want to capture that. My main thought behind capturing the natural gas right now is to at least be able to control whether or not I have natural gas inside of my base. Same sort of idea with the carbon dioxide. Trying to reduce the amount of vulnerable gases I have should hopefully, you know, if, if the zombies get out, I won't have as many issues. So I put a gas pipe element sensor right there. 
with a gas pipe sensor uh, shut off. So there we go. So when the gas runs through here, if it is the wrong type of gas, <laughs> it's the wrong line to put it on. Hang on. Uh, what I want to do is put it down here. Close. We almost had it right. There we go. Now that's correct. All we gotta do is put the bridge in there. Stuff and stuff on stuff. Boom. Same way. Uh-oh, what's so going on over here? Oops. Who's trapped? Ah, caught another one. Meanwhile, the robots are just doing their thing. Look at them go. Ha, <laughs> they're so efficient. And they don't send me any warnings for not being able to breathe or whatever. Meanwhile, the pips are just having a heyday over here, just planting everything. There's gonna be a Robo Dupes mod, isn't there? Can you guys plant this? Or does that require a dupe? So one unintentional thing that I noticed here is that my my printing pod is not actually activated right now in any of my bases. I believe the reason is because over here on the new planet, when I put one down, it isn't activated. So I can't do anything about it. I suppose I can deconstruct it or maybe I disable it. Can I not deconstruct it? That seems like a bit of a unexpected problem right there. Who's on fire? May, I told you, you don't have to go do those. That's low priority. Look at it, literally, threes. I, when do I ever use threes? These dupes, I tell you what, catch themselves on fire no matter what I do. There's like nothing I need to do. <laughs> I'm just sitting here watching all of this stuff happen. It's like, okay, we got rovers, mm-hmm. They're preparing the land. Vin over here, their dupes are doing what they're doing. I think if anything, I might be adding one spot for a pitcher pump, just you know, for the sake of possibly adding a little bit more water to the terrariums. Slight tweaks, you know? Sludgax over here, I've put this thing down, we'll disable it. We don't really need that. Ah, we'll just pipe this stuff in. We need oxygen to that, so boom. There we go. There we go, doing that thing. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> there we go, if I deconstruct this little tile here, Push that door down. I could actually use that as a direction control. So then I can force them to go past the oxygen masks and stuff. Oh, look at this. I already got three jet suits here. Hm, maybe. I don't know. Navigation's always going to be fun. I'm sure I'll make, make a mistake and the dupes will be free at some point. There we go. Petroleum. Ha. Ha. <laughs> what do you need? Some power? God, I got power. What is the potential load on this wire now? 11,735. <laughs> All right, so I was looking at my little kilns over here and they are continuous right now, but I've actually set up something a little bit more fancy. Let me go ahead and just show that to you. So that's this right over here. So essentially what I'm doing here with this automation, it's the exact same signal, just kind of used in different ways. But essentially what I've got going on here is a system that works by detecting how much is in our smart storage bin. And then before that, we have the exact same resource, but we just limit how much is in there. Let's say a thousand kilograms or something like that. So the idea here is we detect whether or not this is full, and then right before that is kind of our buffer. So this is an inventory system. So we can build up a certain amount of stock that we then go and deplete. And then once we go below our certain threshold, we then run this thing again, it becomes active, and we process that. And we fill up this one first until we've completed enough stuff, and then we fill up that second one after that. That's the idea. So. In case you're wondering, there is a video where I explain all of this as a tutorial. It's called Until X. I did it a while ago. Now I'm going to use it again. The main idea, though, is that I have different one of these for refined carbon, ceramics, sands, salt, table salt, lime. I could do Atmos suits, jet suits. And there is going to be one more that isn't available yet. And that's going to be like your lead hazard suit for dealing with the radium and, and radioactive stuff. I might end up building that mm, over here because I will need a spot for it to put your lead underwear on and I think that spot's going to be right down here. Because once you go down here, ooh, things aren't going to be so nice. Currently we're not seeing any sort of radiation but 
radiation is going to be a big deal. And it's going to be different than all the other diseases that we've dealt with thus before. As to how it's going to be different, well, stay tuned, because uh, I still need to find out myself. <laughs> Man, look at these robots go. They're so efficient. It's crazy. Vin, what's going on over here? Because they're always suffocating or something. Ooh, new colony achievement. What did we get this time? Cure a sick duplicate of disease. What did I do? <laughs> Outrageous. Okay, so what's going on over here? Y anybody else noticing this on the side of your map? Picked up aluminum ore. Oh, these must be like right next to each other. Is that what I'm seeing? Mmm, Clay, interesting. I kind of think I see what you're doing here. Now, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can't see it. What if I zoom on out like this, huh? Huh? Yeah, that's what's happening. Check this out. If I press Alt S and I zoom way on out, and then I undo that, you can see all of my different little colonies. <laughs> Are you telling me these planetoids aren't really other planetoids? Uh, what's going on in here? <laughs> Sweetles deliveries has become overcrowded with Sweetlebugs. Look at them. No wonder my dupes are constantly running up there. Oh, too many. Grim, 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 Meep. Every, why? No, stop. Now they're all tame and hungry, aren't they? Jeez, oh, highly demanding critters. Okay, what if I set that to auto? Huh? All right, I know what you're thinking. I've got more robots here. We've got enough oxygen. And we know where we're going. Clearly, the other map could use more robots. Meep, please stop using this bathroom. Camille, you're just leaving your poop on the ground. That's gross. All right, so I kind of got a little distracted, but here's exactly what's going on here. Um, and like I said before, this is based on a tutorial and all the stuff that I can find over on my Patreon page and whatnot, Until X where I kind of go into details explaining exactly what's going on here. But to give you the gist, this output signal is going to activate every minute or so. I'm just using the timer sensor to send a true signal through here. And I sort of filter that just a little bit. That way it doesn't land at the exact same time um, as the output that's coming from our smart storage bin. We're just turning that on for just a moment to see if it's full or not. And if it is full, then what we're going to do is we're just going to turn this off, right? So we hit this. If this receives a green signal, then it's going to set that to red. So that'll skip past everything and sets it to red before this signal gets there. So that's what's going on there. Uh, it's also kind of important, again, based on the direction of your dupes travel. So your dupes are coming in from this side, therefore they're going to fill up this storage bin first before they fill up that storage bin. They're also going to empty the storage bin first before they empty that storage bin. The arms sometimes have a mind of their own, so you might end up filling up this one first. It depends on how that all has worked out. But anyhow, that's the idea. So what I've got going on here is I've got refined carbon and I've got ceramic and these are going to run. And there we go. Ceramic is now filling this one up. Perfect. And then refined carbon is over here as well. So this is first in first out. And then this is our safety stock. So up here I'm doing a similar thing. This is just looking for lime, so I'll store up lime here, which I apparently don't have any lime yet. When I get some, I'll select that there. Which again, it should be active, so therefore a dupe might actually do this. Haha. -ha. Although it doesn't have any power yet, does it? Nope, because they can't reach. So the ones that are above the rock crushers here, based on where the auto sweeper needs to be placed, this is actually five tall as compared to some of these that are just four tall. But the neat thing about a system like this is that we don't end up converting all of our raw material like constantly, right? We're not constantly running this. We only run this as we need more material. So it's pretty handy if we kind of just want to do jobs as we need them. And at the same time, you have a decent amount on hand. You can control how much you have on hand. So, kind of neat. All right, so looking back to the Vin base over here, looks like we're finally starting to carve out these zones. It's taking these dupes a while to get all this done. And then I'm going to need oxygen up there. Ooh, maybe a bit too slow. Maybe I should just start digging down here and 
get after it. After all, I have kind of a nasty base built up already, so maybe it isn't all that necessary. But check out these robots. Mmm, they're doing good. They just about have everything pre-constructed. Just about ready to bring in a dupe over here. Ah, I can now see something that's important. They use 30 watts per second. Time for a quick calculation. 30 times 600. 18 kilojoules per cycle. So, pretty obvious, these things here last 10 cycles. How about that? I've also noticed that if they're not doing anything, they still lose power. I don't know if it's at the exact same rate, but... <laughs> Look at these pips. They're just planting stuff everywhere. Hey, there goes the other dam right there. So now this water is flowing right down here. Ooh, that's a decent amount of water. I should make sure I have a pump down there that's ready to go. One thing I'm going to need for this base is a lot of piped oxygen. So we'll be doing a lot of work inside of suits because we're dealing around hot stuff there and dangerous stuff down here. Although I noticed I can't get to my food anymore. That would explain why I saw some food go bad over here. One of the things I could do to make this a little bit faster is put the ingredients for something like a rock crusher in a storage bin just to the left of this. I think... Yes, I can reach. Wow, wow, dupes, you deconstructed my rock crusher. I didn't say to do that. Let's see here, can we reach that? Yes, we can. Can we reach that one? Mm-hmm. Perfect, just so perfect. I love this side of automation in the evening. If only there was wallpaper, then this would be absolutely perfect. Once we actually get some reed fibers, what I can do here Start to build up some clothing, right? You can actually do that right here. I can build up snazzy suits. Haha. -ha. You know what? We might even be able to do oxygen masks somehow. So there we go. Inside of here, I have eggshells, fossil, all that good stuff. Although May can't get to that, so let's just knock out the floor real quick. Make sure that auto sweeper's doing its thing. Okay, we got lime, right? We got 1,000 under consumable. All right. So let's see how this goes. See that? This is unloading from here, loading up the rock crusher. Camille's just running it. And we're loading up the storage bin, just like that. And the dupes are picking this up off the floor. They're loading up the nearest bin. That too. I guess we just have lots of lime. Yes, this is efficient. Hmm, how's the decor in here? You know, it isn't that fantastic. I think we can make it a little bit better. Considering a dupe is going to actually be down here for a while. Do I do a metal block? That might be a little too nice. I don't want to spoil them, you know? Yay, my dupes finally got this done. Good job, dupes. Now build another. <laughs> so here's another thing that I'm doing down here. As I build this out, this is five tall. This is going to give me access to everything down here. In order to build it and also make sure that my dupes can actually maneuver through here, building five tall, I do two and two, with, and I leave the middle row alone. It's actually the exact same thing I'm thinking doing over here. Yep. Same sort of deal. This way my bots can get in here, do what they need to do, and keep moving. Oh, I notice we have a vent into space. We gotta be careful of this stuff. Matter of fact, I have multiple vents into space. Not my oxygen. <laughs> no. Oh no, drywall is what I need. Okay, can't do that. We're gonna have to plug it up with tiles. I'm gonna cancel this top line. I don't know if there's any more bad spots here but I do not want to lose all my oxygen. You can see the big difference here. Lots of oxygen, no oxygen. <laughs> Whoops. I'm actually glad I accidentally built this tile right there. That saved me a little, quite a bit. Because I wasn't looking over here. Oh no, Vin! Something's going on over there. What, Who? who's in trouble? Trapped. Oh, Gene, come on now. Dupes and your needs to breathe. So inconvenient. Now, remember what I told you about bleach stone? There you go. Good job. All right, so when I go to dig down into this area, one of the important things is I want to have a liquid lock. I don't want any of the gases from in here to go back up into my main base. It's going to be quite important that that does not happen. Again, just being very, very careful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a ladder right down here. We're going to make use of this ethanol that's here. Just like so, we'll go down here, we'll splash around a little bit, 
possibly dig that thing up and then we can dig our way out right here and then go down in a ladder right in this spot so that is a natural liquid lock and right down here all chlorine so bring a dupe in here go through there chlorine put your suit on and then go out here and venture into this stuff and pick up what you need to pick up. Once we disinfect it all, I think I'll be set. Uh-oh. I've managed to jam a bot. How did I do that? Cancel? Hmm. What are you doing, bot? You don't know where to go? I mean, at least I got one bot. The other one seems to have just short-circuited. All right, so now we should see this work the next time that it goes through there i go active boom that's now full and it's been deactivated over here not quite deactivated over on this side one thing i noticed is that i had to push the green duration out a little bit longer that way the auto sweeper had time to go down here pick up and then deliver to the smart storage bin because the dupes weren't doing it uh, if it's deactivated so that's a little bit of a difference there than what I had going on in the past, but meh, I think it'll work. So what I should see is this goes boop and deactive, just like that. It stays deactivated. Same sort of deal over there. I think I might bump that filter up to one second just to kind of make it a little bit better. Yep, perfect. All right, so this is five, that's one, and then I have a five second green time up here. So it's going to use a little bit more power, but still not, it's not that bad. So there's some fancy inventory management for you. Now, if we head on over here, I think I've built up just about everything I can do with my robots. And if I've timed everything correctly, they should all be out of power. So therefore, if I bring a dupe over here, hopefully they won't crash. And that's exactly what I'm seeing. All right, awesome. So now for the final stage of today's plan. We're going to throw Meep inside of this skill scrubber here. And then we're going to shove him in a rocket and send him over to the new planet. There you go, Meep. Have fun, buddy. <laughs> How are my wires not exploding? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wrong element. What are you doing, gas pump? Why are you... No, oh, I didn't filter it. Oh, well. Too bad. Uh-oh, that was a big... Who's trapped? Desktop. Dude, you know better. You know how to dig. <laughs> All you had to do is dig this tile. There you go. Skills. Do you not have that? That would be why. Well, you do now, buddy. Trapped is a real nice notification, isn't it? Oh, otherwise, I wouldn't have found... <laughs> otherwise, I wouldn't have found out until desktop was, like, suffocating. Poor guy would have been down here. Actually, probably until he wet his pants or something. All right, so let me do a couple of things here real quick. First and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and do this number. We're just going to get that thing up and running, enable that. We just need it enabled right now. We don't need anything too fancy. Do we have oxygen to this and petroleum? We do. All right, maybe don't dis disable that. I think I'll put my dupe in the jet suit first before they get in the spaceship because I think that's a good idea. Now, you don't have oxygen. I know, I know. It's the, the thing we don't have is sucking up all the O2. Beep's like, I am definitely going to take care of this. In the case that things go horribly wrong, I'm going to build up an orbital cargo module over here because I might need to <laughs> start throwing stuff at Meep. Uh, the other thing that I've also done down here at the apothecary is I'm trying... Well, I'm trying to build up various medicines that I might send out over there as well. The one that I think is going to be possibly uh, needed quite a bit is the basic rad pill. Um, colony lax. Mm, duplicate. Okay. I need a dupe with that skill. Who, who wants it? I don't even have a doctor in my base. <laughs> well, May likes to do it. There you go. I mean, you got rockets and that. I mean, talk about a, an almost OP duplicate. Uh, Hassan, you can you can build that stuff up too again. We don't have any research. You might as well be doing that. Speaking of research, is there anything we haven't done yet? Ah, the juicer, of course. The glass forge. 
Eh, who needs the glass forge? Let's go for the robotic miner. That might actually be useful. Enable. Oh, 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 oh. Little bit of oxygen. There we go. Just for a moment. We're going to enable this. We are going to disable the ability to go through here. It must go that direction. All right, as for our crew, change crew. Who do we want inside of here? Camille to fly the rocket. Meep, maybe you're gonna jump in the trailblazer. I don't know how this works. It's a bit experimental, but what could possibly go wrong? All right, Meep's on his way. And uh, you're going right past what you need to go past. All right, let's enable that. Let's, okay, hold up, hold up everybody. Yeah, you dupes. I would have thought, meep, meep, meep. Oh no, they're they're denying me. Auto, meep, go down here. Come here, go over there. Okay, now move over here. There you go, good job, dupes. Boop. Go up there. Meep, you go up there. Boop. Okay, crew. Load them up. Hey. All right, rocket, we are now going to change our orbit. We're, we'll just keep going right here. I think we have enough fuel to get there. Six tiles, excellent. Launch in progress. Good luck, dupes. And they're off. Meep's flying. <laughs> Never mind that Camille <laughs> is easily the more qualified of the two. But no, okay, why don't you just hover in place? Because that's gonna be nice to breathe. <laughs> There's dupes. What are, you, what are you doing? Come here, come here, what are you doing? Boop. All right, I think we are at location. And Camille's like, I'm flying a... You just wanna hover around, okay? Deploy. Send this module contents to the surface of a planetoid. A specific deploy location may be chosen for certain modules. Uh, I see. You're not there yet. We, uh, please don't hover, dupes. Please don't hover. Stop hovering. It's gonna be so hard to breathe if you keep doing this, dupes. Here. Build some ladders. That'll keep you busy. Or enable the toilet. <laughs> of course. That didn't take long. All right, I think we're there. Meep has decided to sleep while hovering. Never a good idea. Please don't. All right, so now we can deploy. Let's click the play button real quick. Hit the deploy. And we got our little space lander here. Meep, please don't crash this time. Oh! Okay, maybe it's because they're sleeping? I don't know, we'll try it again. All right, Camille is proceeding to, okay, now we're at location. Can we deploy? Hmm. Go slow. Okay. Okay, Meep is gone. I think we've done it. Do 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 do. Touchdown! Welcome to a new planet, Meep. Your first job here is to deconstruct that tile. <laughs> Can you move? Uh, do you have your jet suit on? Yeah, you do. There you go. We just can't see it. How skillful, Meep. How very skillful. All right, so the very first thing you are going to do is you are going to build a door. Right up there. How was that a low priority for you, Meep? Oh, I see. Hey, hey, good job, Meep. Priority don't suffocate. Priority don't suffocate, Meep. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, you're dumb. We shook you too hard. What are you doing? You really don't need to do that one. Oh, no. He's doing anything but what we need him to do. Please stop. There you go. Oh no, now the robot has decided to activate. Where did you come from? You have zero, no, no. No, game, please don't do this to me. You don't even have any bat, you've just been encouraged because Meep decided to run past you, huh? 
what are you doing? No, that's a bad place to go. Pipsqueak. Don't do it. Oh, space Pip. Ah, there we go. Much better. Okay, now I don't know <laughs> why, what is going on here. Um, rover. There's three rovers there. Can I deconstruct them? No. Clearly, this is not going to be a problem. Oh, boy. Hey, mate, give this a try. Deconstruct that. No, 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 Just go back this way. I want to see what happens. Could you not stand in an open door, mate? This is how to be a dupe, 101. There you go. Actually, no. All right, well, we made it to a brand new planetoid. And I think that trailblazer worked out pretty good. I'm not sure why my robots have decided to move again. Or some of them. Or how I even get rid of some of them, but... As long as things don't crash, I think we'll be okay. But we'll just have to see. At any rate, that's all I got time for today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Broskar.